Certain foods were just meant to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, wine and cheese, the classic burger and fries. But not since bread met butter has anything gone together quite like this. It's a source of endless fascination to researchers and web surfers that the combination of Mentos brand candies and Diet Cola can produce such a dramatic effect. But I've never understood how it works. Luckily, molecular biologist Adam Rubin is here to explain the explosion. Hi, Ted. Hi, Adam. So what's going on between this fizzy drink and the fresh maker? Well, Ted, this is one of the awesomest chemical and physical reactions known to modern science. Now, while the ingredients are simple, the reaction itself is a little complex. Now, what you have to remember is that every time you open a bottle of cola, you have a little bit of rush of air coming out, and that air is actually carbon dioxide. OK, so that's what forms the bubbles that we're all familiar with. Exactly, but to make an explosion like this, you have to make a whole lot of bubbles, big bubbles, very fast. Wow, good one. When a bubble forms, it needs a nucleation site to grab onto. A nucleation site can be a rough spot or a scratch. And the surface of Mentos are covered with thousands of tiny pits that are excellent for attracting bubbles. But these are still small bubbles. We need something bigger for an explosion to occur. Large bubbles are created when lots of little ones join together. And Mentos have so many nucleation sites that the bubbles naturally combine. So why Diet Cola? Because it contains an artificial sweetener called aspartame that is thought to help this process along by weakening the surface tension of the liquid. Surface tension is a force that holds water molecules together, such as the water molecules in soda. It's also the force that holds a bubble together. The reduced surface tension, thanks to the aspartame, means all those little bubbles are more inclined to band together to form big, explosive ones. Wow. Now, when you release all the Mentos at once and they go down to the very bottom of the bottle, you get a gigantic spray, as you've seen here. But watch what happens when you just drop a few of them in slowly. This is the same number of Mentos. I'm just going to lower them in slowly and carefully, and you don't really get an explosion. Oh. And this is because you don't have as much soda volume above the Mentos as you do when you drop them in all at once. Oh, you mean like in a grand finale? 